have a huge fear, as you suggest in anarchy, of no strong government. That's the fear that Vladimir Putin has. I'm not saying that there's no strong government in the country. I'm saying that if there is no government at all, then there will be anarchy and a vacuum. And this vacuum and anarchy will rapidly transform into terrorism. Well, take Iraq, for example. Saddam Hussein. Whether he was good or bad, you've probably forgotten that. At some stage, the U.S. was cooperating very actively with Saddam when he was fighting Iran. You've helped him with arms. The diplomatic support was accorded. Political cover was provided, etc. Then, for some reason, you had a falling out and the U.S. decided to eliminate Saddam. But by eliminating Saddam Hussein, the U.S. eliminated the Iraqi government and thousands of people from the former Ba'ath Party. Thousands of Iraqi servicemen, which were a part of the Sunni elite of the state, were thrown out on the streets. Nobody thought about them. Now they're filling the ranks of ISIL. That's what we're fighting against. We are not against some country showing its leadership somewhere. We're against thoughtless actions that result in such negative situations that are hard to correct.